Hey everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Officer for Enterprise DNA, and I'm here today with our Head of Challenges, Federica Pastor. So, Federica, welcome. Always great to have you here. Thank you, Brian, as usual. Thank you. And today we're, we're, we're talking about Challenge 20, which just came out last Friday. And this one, this one is big. We want to do something special for Challenge 20. And Federico has described this one as a monster. And um, I wanted to get his thoughts on kind of what makes this one so exceptional and challenging and potentially um, really providing the foundation of something you can, you can build a portfolio around. Um, the first thing most important, Brian, is that this is a real data set. Yeah. 100% real. It's not uh, the only thing that has been changing the name of the product. A from, for B, everything else is real. Yeah. From a company, from the production, from the product, from the sales. Okay, we all the imperfection of a real data set. As far as I know, for them it's not easy to retrieve the data. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. That means that when the data come to us, it, it, it does not come perfect. We need to work the data out. But for you to work the data out, you need to understand it. Yeah. So that's the first thing we need to do about it is load out, look at the data, Try to understand the data, measure the tables and the header are easy to understand for you because you can understand them, your client will understand it. If they are complex for you, it will be complex for your client. And remember, you are creating for a client. Your report is not for you, your report is for your client. So at this very moment, that data set is real, coming from a factory, there are 10 questions made in the brief that you need to reply. If you have some more time, then you can do more analysis on the data set. And but I want everybody participating and the newcomers, don't rush. There is no rush. You have 30 days. I want you guys to slow down, look at the data set, understand the data set, look at the brief continuously, Look at the forum page provided with the challenge because there are people already talking about the data, talking about inconvenience they have found and how other people are replying to the uh, questions. When you have the understanding, you, you can work around. And Federica, I want to follow up with you on that, which is, um... The forum, you mentioned the Enterprise DNA Forum as being kind of the main, the main place for information on this. And that forum is, it's readable by everybody, whether you're a member or not. Um, can you talk about the difference between that and the, um, the LinkedIn group you created? So kind of what the purpose of, of each is and kind of the uses of, of each group um, to kind of complete the challenge experience, particularly for those folks who are not members? Uh, the idea was to, with the LinkedIn group, was to gather the non-members and members in one place if they want to chat and to discuss. The forum is where all the questions by people that are really good at that analysis are put. These people are not afraid of making mistakes or saying something that is wrong, and if they need to ask, they ask. That happened in the forum. The LinkedIn group is still, I do believe that any question can be put, but people is kind of afraid of putting that question to the open because they feel, oh, they are gonna say this or that. Well, go to the forum guys and you got people that have won challenges asking questions. They are yeah. not afraid because their job is to make a proper report. So they are not afraid asking, is this this or is this that? Why is this happening? And somebody that already went through that problem will actually reply to you without any problem, any judging. It's about helping each other. So we have two different forums, the community group in LinkedIn that anyone can ask any question and you have the forum that anyone can read and visit. Eh? If you have no question or you want to put a question, you can put it in the, in the forum if you are not a member, but you can see many already answers 
regarding the data set. My take is that if I was not to be a member, I will be visiting the forum every half an hour if I am working on the rest. <laughs> because they are coming updated. Over the weekend, the company, this a King Industry issue a new memo with more clarification. Um, don't, if you are in the LinkedIn group, but you're not in the forum, don't be afraid, just go into the forum. If you have a question that you did not understand from the forum or an answer you did not understand completely, put it on the forum. Right. And if you're not a member and you can't post, you can just put it in the LinkedIn group. Correct. Yeah. hundred percent. You know, and, and you thing, may... Oh, go ahead. One thing that I want everybody to understand is that, that sending questions to me all the time doesn't help. Not you, not me, because I cannot reply to every question. And I have to do my check. The data set is not mine. I understand a little bit of data set, but I have to refer to the company to make some clarification for me too. Right, okay, right. And so I think I think it's it's proper that we we respond in public to all the questions so that everybody has you know, the same information. Correct. Um, but the other thing you afraid. mentioned, the other thing you mentioned about community, which I really like, is that on the forum. I mean, even though these challenges are competitions, there's really more of a helping spirit than anything else. So, for example, one of our one of our competitors has been very active lately, Maja. Um, she actually put together a great summary of the of the questions and basically posted it for everybody to everybody to see and download in the forum. And I actually I took that and just pasted that right into my into my draft report um, just as a way to you know be able to kind of quickly click in my report and get to those questions and make sure that you know we're answering each one of those specifically. So. You know, hats off to Maja on that. And, you know, to everybody who participates on the, um, yeah, th there it is, participates on the forum and, and contributes, you know, to the, um, you know, to the group that I really, I like that. I like that spirit. And even though it is a competition that really the main, the main goal is learning. But, but that what I mean is that that is already in the brief. What she did was to go and step further and say, listen, guys, for you to focus. And for me, that I am creating that document too, I can focus doing it this way better than just going through the brief. But there have been some questions and answers already. Yeah. From various people about the data set and the company issued the other day a memo with more clarification. Remember guys, that is a real data set. I had to refer to the company. Yeah, no, I think so, that's I think that's great, and you're right that you can you can definitely garner an edge by just paying attention to this because as debate and discussion happens, you know, things will clarify, and you know, questions that even you didn't even think to ask, other people will raise. So, correct. I and mean, if you are new coming into the challenge or new in Power BI, that should not stop you from making the right question. That should not have stopped you for thinking analytically. Don't don't rush. It's not time yet to start doing visualizations of the report itself. For the time being, right now, is for you to understand the data, to try to answer those questions. And when you have that clear in your mind, then you start building the report. Yeah. I I prefer you as a newcomer to present some me something ugly, but with proper analytical content. That's something very beautiful with no clue what we are doing about it. Okay, let's think about putting everything organized with the right data, with the right information. And then we just make it up. We put some, make a little stick and, the, and everything. But concentrate on the data. That is what we do. We are data ana, ana, analyst, analyst, sorry. Data analyst, we are not, um, UI designer. Right. That can as a second as a second thing. And if the report that you create is properly set up on the analytic side and you are a good designer, go for it. But focus on what it has to be done by the data. Well, I agree. And I, you know, in some ways I think even though this challenge is is 
fairly complex. I mean, I don't think it's too complex for, you know, for anybody to, to grasp, but um, I actually find these kind of challenges easier than the ones that have a really ambiguous brief and just say kind of, tell me something interesting about the data. You know, the ones that are really structured like this that have, you know, five, eight, 10 questions, it really does guide exactly the structure of your analysis. You don't really even have to do much of an analysis plan. You know, the, the questions in a sense become your analysis plan and you've just got to figure out, you've just got to figure out how do you, how specifically are you going to answer those questions? You no, know, when we do not ask for anything, we cannot judge properly because we cannot actually tell the guy that you should have. Well, you didn't tell me that. You actually allow me to go wild on my way. So it's quite difficult even for us to judge a challenge where there is no question asked. Right. I mean, I think the seven day challenge was a good example that I think people took very different roots on that one. And people came up with kind of different interesting aspects. But in some respects, I think that's harder than than one that clearly defines the questions for you. It, it's better. We have in Challenge 7, we have as a reference, uh, Mudasir report and, and some numbers in there that you actually can match with your number. How do you actually put it together is a different thing because you cannot, you are not Mudasir, you cannot be in Mudasir head. In the same way, I cannot be in your head, you cannot be in my head. We have different approaches to when we uh, design report. But if I asking you for this and this question, you have to reply to this question, whether you put it in blue or red or in a different format, that's a different matter, but I know what I'm looking for. And I know you have to bring it up to me. So it's better for challenges of this nature when the, rat, uh, the data is real uh, is to have the question people, what is management looking for? Yeah. Rather well, think, than just give me anything. Right. And I think, you know, this, this really simulates if you're a, a Power BI consultant or a data analyst in-house to a corporation, this is, this is what you're going to be doing. I mean, this, this type of challenge is exactly the type of project that you would get you know, as a consultant, as an in-house analyst. And, um, you know, the report you'll produce will be, I think, a great example of the type of work, you know, you could put out to a prospective employer that you could, you know, you can really showcase your, your work on. And one of the things that we're going to do is, um, in terms of showcasing work, is the, the top entries go into our, our showcase. And we're also, one of the things we've heard from a lot of, viewers is they want to see, particularly for the winning report, how that was constructed. And so um, for Abu Bakar's um, report last in challenge 19, you know, that winning report that was just spot on, people really want to see that. So we've actually got him coming on on a webinar to walk through that. And we're going to do the same for this challenge and for all the big challenges is the winner is going to have the opportunity. They don't have to, but have the opportunity to come on and explain their their report and walk people through it. So, you know, kind of the the attention and the the notoriety that you can get through doing this challenge and doing well in it is is really phenomenal. The the data set is fantastic. The opportunity for you to create a report that might if you put in your portfolio offer you or give you the possibility of working is real. Yeah. In my view, this is a report that can make or break you, not break you, but can make you be noticeable. Real quick, before we wrap, I wanted to just get, if you had any particular tips or cautions or things that you would tell people to watch out for or you know, pay special attention to in this challenge. I think that because of the quality of the data set and the complication of the data set, I will ask you guys to measure to understand the data, measure mm -hmm. the question and answer it. In just simple tables and cards, you don't need to do visualization yet. When that is clear in your head, then go to the step of starting the process of creating the report. Make sure everything is aligned properly. Color palette, don't go crazy. It doesn't need to be the, yes, just pick a monochromatic. 
okay? Color palette, put everything properly, take attention to what visualization are you using? Not because the visualization look nice, it might be the right visualization for that data you try to present, okay? Um, please don't bring me any scrollable report because if you do, I don't like you anymore, okay? <laughs> Remember, an scrollable, scrollable report, I'm losing what I'm watching at the top to what I'm looking at the bottom. If you don't have a space, use another page, not all in one page. We are not asking you for two pages or one pages. Right, and that's a great point. So there's no there's no restrictions on this. It's kind of the the, oh, no. the the governor's off on this that you can go as many pages. You can use custom visuals. You can use drill through. You can use navigation. You know, page so navigation. Do- you can you everything's on the table on this one. I prefer to go three through ten pages, organize ten pages that going up down mm. for a report that look like a blanket more than a report. It's as simple as that. I want to be guided. I want to, page one is about forecasting, page two is about sale, page three is about product and production. Guide me through your report. Mm. That is the idea. And for everyone starting, and guys, another thing very important, don't follow the crowd user. Yeah? Don't follow what you see everywhere else. Think about what we are telling you, create your report because that is the way you create a report, not because you saw somebody else doing it this way or that way. That is not the best way to learn. You're just kind of copying between brackets. You're not copying, but you're just following somebody else's idea of what they saw in another challenge. Be yourself, be true to yourself. You say, okay, that's what I need to display. That's the data set, that's the question. There are 10 questions. I might need to create three different pages. Okay, so so that is how I see the challenge. That is the challenge to be, to show up. Even if you are new and you are able to put something together well put, that is massive gain for, for, for whoever is presenting. I'm sure more information is coming to the forum, so everybody please check the forum constantly. That is my, for today, do that, share the forum. Great, great. Okay. Thanks, Federico. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.